Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it is time to play. We're back in Complex Sky. Made some really good progress last episode. We had several unhappy faces at the top of our screen at the top of the last episode because our citizens weren't getting the food and the products that they needed and the quantities they needed. So we upped our rice production. We added another line of rice production and we used the more efficient uh, lines of rice production that get us 18 units of rice each cycle. That turns out to be uh, more efficient. And we had just unlocked those in the research tree not too long ago. So that allowed us to do that. And then we, uh, what else did we do? We saw that in our assembly, our assembler foundry here, we have some production of the basic consumer goods that had been pretty much stalled out uh, waiting on iron plates. So we took out a line of iron gear wheels because I don't think we're using those right at the moment. And we added a second line of iron plates. And so now uh, iron plates are used as one of the ingredients in our basic consumer goods. And now that we've got that extra supply coming in, this line that's producing basic consumer goods is humming along. So that was a huge improvement. And uh, it only cost us the iron gear wheel automation. And we can set up another line for that later. And then the last thing we did that was kind of major, I guess, was the uh, setting up our first basic assembly. And right now we've just got a single line of basic consumer goods in there. And we've got five slots available to produce more products when we are ready to do that. I'm kind of holding off until our employment situation gets a little better. And it has improved dramatically. This, this was at the top of the last episode at 10%. And we were down like 40 workers. Now you can see it's climbing. We're, we're getting back on track and we're only down uh, five workers. So we're in good shape. And I think we have a surplus of operators, if I'm not mistaken. If we click this, yeah, we've got plenty of operators. So I think as we get the more advanced uh, factories and things, we'll make use of more operators. But right now we're in good shape. We set up research for the basic upside down uh, building capacity. That's going to allow us to build the basic apartment upside down. And as soon as that completes, I'm thinking that's uh, that's something that we do right away and give that a try. We'll hop down or upside down here and see if we can't uh, build an apartment building upside down. And we'll see how that process goes. It might take a little bit of trial and error, but we will give it a shot. Maybe this, yeah, probably, well, we'll see. Maybe this episode, we'll just have to see. What else do we have going on here? We cut back on our, what do we do? We cut back on our copper production just to free up some resource and stem a little pollution, maybe. And then uh, we added a couple of parks too. So we've got a couple of tiered parks here. And I think four is the max right now that we can put on, on our apartment building. Pretty sure. I don't, and let's look at the upgrades. Is there any upgrades here? Open air park. Let's see. Do we have all of this? Looks like we do. Maintenance takes some water, takes workers. So this is going to increase. We'll take a look at our worker situation here. And I'll, once I upgrade this, and we'll see if we uh, immediately go down six workers. This gets us extra park points. How are we doing on park points? We're at 570. We've got plenty of park points there. It's the third row in the bottom left here. This little pop-up. Now it's at 569. We we have plenty of park points. I don't think I'm going to do that because it is going to chew up workers. So I'm not going to bother with that one. Let's see. The trash dispenser gives us more population growth, more tax, and more storage. This one is a no-brainer, so let's do it. Grade that. That's done. That one, I think we're going to wait on. This one is done. The canteen, and then this one. We've got the parts. This does add vending machines to the building. More population growth rate. All right, I'm not sure what's in those vending machines, but it increases the population growth rate, so I guess we'll take it. All right, cool. Uh, click in the module to show the required space requirement. All right. Operator tower. So I don't think we've unlocked that. I'm guessing there's something here that we would need to unlock in order to build this operator tower. 
it's, it's an upgrade and it looks like a little module hanging off. It's a little icon looks like it's some kind of module. So maybe that comes later. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't see it yet. All right, so we are humming along. How's our research doing? We're getting close. We were looking at the other research that uh, we did. Let's see. Okay, optional quest, build three research laboratories. We don't have that. Let's see if there's any more of these that we've done. Yeah, we have not automated the iron building parts. You know, we could just do this temporarily. In fact, we could do it in our... We could do it in here. No, this guy doesn't take them. He cannot build iron building parts, but we can do... I think we can add a production line here where the consumer goods, right? Since we're already doing that. Then let's go into our assembler foundry. And we'll get rid of this one. Oh, this guy doesn't have it either. I thought this one could build the uh, iron building parts. Do we have to unlock that in the research? Maybe we, I thought we did. Yeah, we did. Where is this built? Iron assembler. Oh, so yeah, we've got another building to build. Another factory building. Maybe we can put one right here. Let's uh, see how big that guy is. We just unlocked it. Where is that? Maybe? Am I missing something? All right. Upside down technology. Close that. Oh, where is that iron? Upside down transport node. Ooh. I'll have to look that one up. I don't know what that is. All right. That's our inventory. We just looked at that one. Basic assembly, mining facility, assembly foundry. All right, well, let's figure out what that, uh, what it takes to build uh, these guys. Iron building, whatever those are. Iron building parts or whatever they are. We'll, we'll look and see what it takes to build these. First, let's pick our research and get the research tree going. Keep that thing moving. Uh, I think we said we wanted circuits. We're working our way towards the boxed water. Right, and so we're going to need, if I follow the wood path here, let's just follow the wood path. We need this guy, artificial ecosystem. Let's go ahead and do it and just get that going without spending too much time staring at it. And then I wanted to find out how to build uh, these iron parts. Let's see here. This one, iron building part. Where is this built? Iron assembly. Now, is that a module or is that a building? Let's see. Show the building. It just takes stone, iron, ooh, and iron gear wheels. Okay, the iron assembler. It connects to the main building. And it looks like you can connect it to an assembler foundry, an iron assembler, or a module assembler. I thought we unlocked that. Let's see if in our assembler we can uh, attach something to it. That's our mining facility. This is our assembler foundry. We've got a little bit of room around it. Can I? There it is. Iron assembler. All right. Where can I attach this? And does it need... Oh, that's not small. I thought it was going to be a little one blocker. Apparently not. Uh, and there's no room, unfortunately attach this guy unless I can blast out this tree that one looks like it's temporary right let's uh see if we can blast it we can let's go put another foundation block here and see if we can build this module that's a big module uh, we might need it doesn't need its own power connection so that's nice Ooh, it goes on top check that out oh even better no brainer. Let's pop that thing down. Awesome. Oh man, that's cool. Okay, iron assembly. Let's go to the production lines. Now, now where? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so the foundry's humming along with all seven production lines going. 
We'll just leave it the way it is. We've got extra consumer goods coming in. This one line we could probably take down if we need to. Now, do these share storage? Yeah, it looks like they do. Interesting. Cool. All right. Now let's make some of these guys. And I can already see what we're going to need to change. Um, in order to make these, we're going to need iron gear wheels. So let's go down to the bottom level. Let's take out this line of consumer goods because we we're making those in the other factory now. And let's do the iron gear wheels. We'll put that line back. And then hopefully we have enough steel plates to sustain all of this. Iron, let's see these cloaks. I wouldn't mind doing more steel plates here and moving something. Maybe these stone cloaks, maybe moving that over here. Can this guy do those? Yeah, I think that might be worth doing. Let's uh, research assembly. Yeah, I think we do need these stone. Well, you know what? We don't really need the stone cloaks. I don't think we need them. I think the research lab is building those, right? Let's see. Don't we have this guy doing some of that? Whoops, that's not the research lab. <laughs> it's tall like the research lab, but it, that ain't it. All right, production. Yeah, this guy's doing stone cloaks, and we can actually add more lines if we need to. So is our boundary assembly doing that too? I'm getting a little disoriented here. Where is that guy? Here. Yeah, we don't need this line anymore. Uh, we don't need that. You can go. And in fact, that might free up some of our transport too. I don't need to bring stone in anymore. Let's kill that off. So that frees up a line. And then what was I going to do? Um, I was thinking we may need more steel plates. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Let's look at the storage. Only 11 in there. How is this guy doing for storage? 375. That's not it's not bad, but now we just started our found our uh we just started this iron assembler. And he's chewing up six stone plates or <laughs> stone plates? <laughs> he's chewing up six iron plates per cycle. Uh, oh, we still need stone. <laughs> I think I just took out the stone. Yeah, this guy still needs stone. I'll just do auto transport. That should bring it in. That bring in our line what did that do no that sent out that's sending out our iron building parts that's fine we're gonna have to buy another line here i hate doing it but we're gonna need to bring in stone let's see what auto transport does yeah we need stone because uh we need stone for this for the these guys this uh, iron building part Use a stone. Yeah. I'm kind of thinking, uh, I think we need to add another iron plate line in here if we have the room. Let's do it. We'll see. If we end up with too many, we got three lines now of iron plates, but we're using them for the gears to use them. We're using them for consumer products over at the other a factory so those are being shipped out and used by that factory for the consumer goods production and we've got quite a bit of that going and then they're used for uh, what we just looked at those iron building parts all right and then with the iron building parts the reason we chase that down at all is it looks like that's going to give us one of these quests so let's jump into the quest tree here where was that mass production or component parts here let's see not yet. So 35 more and we will achieve this one. I'm not sure what we'll get as a reward. Does it say? No, it doesn't really say. All right. So we made progress on that. What else? Mass research. Yeah, we looked at that. That's going to come later. We build more research laboratories. I don't know if we need that. More assembly, assembler foundries. We've got to get at least three and 
Utility services too. I think we've already got that met. There are modules for the utility services, I believe, that will increase our storage capacity. So right now we're at like 50,000 for each. I believe there's a way to amp that up. Let's see what this little warning is. Production stop, iron assembler. I bet it's waiting on iron plates. Production. Uh, it's waiting on, can we tell? Yeah, iron plates. See, that's why we, we just upped the iron plate production. It's not the end of the world if this, uh, if this production is slow. We're not currently using these iron building parts for anything. We've only got it going really just to satisfy that quest. And that'll make us some cash. And then we can bank them. We're storing them up in our operations center. We should be. I think they should be getting sent out here. But we may not have produced 20 yet. They'll, they'll probably ship in 20 batches of 20. Look at our rice is looking great and our consumer goods are looking great. In fact, we could even dial back the consumer goods. Why don't we? Let's dial that back. Uh, and it may save us some workers and it may save us some, uh, some iron and wood. We can always add more lines. How is our worker situation? Yeah, it's gone down because we added some stuff. So now we're back. We're eight people short. We did complete our upside down research. Let's take a look at doing that. Or let's look at our, let's look at our trade points here. We got seven trade points. We can upgrade some stuff. Tax gain by hate taking down the, uh, I hate taking down our population growth. Let's do two, two, and five. All right, let's do, let's do this one. We'll get some extra cash and then let's do the research count reduction. This should speed up our research and I'm hoping it, it saves us uh, materials. I'm not positive if it does that or not, but I'm assuming it does. All right, let's see if we can build an apartment building upside down. I'm going to flip. And it doesn't have to be mirror image, but I think these actually might be the apartment buildings. Let's pick basic apartment and see. Oh, check it out. Now, part that I'm a little confused with is the power and, and the roads and all that. The levitate network. Like, I don't know if I need to have that here. I guess we'll find out. Let's learn. We'll drop the apartment down. And let's see what this guy says. Oh. He's not connected to the Levitate network. All right. So we saw in the utilities, there's this upside down transport node. Let's look and see what this says. If it tells us what this thing does. Upside down transport node. Boy, it, this, this one needs a description. But I'm guessing this may connect up the top and the bottom area. Let's put it on... Let's put it on a corner and just see if that helps anything. But my guess is that may that may join the upper and the bottom transport networks. Let's uh, let's see if we can drop some levitate network over here. Foundation. Build on a foundation or a structure foundation. There is one there. Just may not like it. So this one might take a little, uh, this one might take a little bit of playing to figure out just how we're going to pull this off. It's a little hard to see. All right. Let's look at our apartment. Yeah, we're going to have to experiment. Let's, uh, see if we can put the upside down transport thing. We probably need resources now, right? Iron building parts, 32. Wow, that thing's expensive. Hmm. Oops, is it not? It's not letting me select. Oops, pardon my camera work here. I'm just trying to select this guy. Let's go back to the building library here. Upside down transport node. Build upside down, structure foundation, levitate network. 
I was kind of hoping that would just connect up. Now, let's see if I can build structure blocks up here. I don't think so. Structure foundation, foundation. All right. Must be built on the core level. Okay, so I don't think you can build structure blocks anywhere above or below that one basic level there. And I can't seem to build the levitate network now. I wonder if I need to unlock something. I can try my rotate keys. I can try, let's close that. I'll rotate. Whoops, let me make sure I got it selected here. Levitate network. See how it's like facing up? The anchor is facing up. I may not have the ability to build these upside down yet. TTT. I'm hitting the T key. I'm hitting the R key. Nothing. I have a feeling that's the case. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the research tree and see if we find something that shouts out at us that we can build the transport network upside down. Do we have research going? Uh, no, let's pick something too to get going. I'm working towards the boxed water. We were doing the wood and we need research two to get to that. So let's look at research two and we need circuits. So let's do the circuits, copper plates. Okay. That's off and running. Now let's look at, let's see if we can find something that enables us to build the roads upside down or crusher. We've seen some of these. I apologize. Okay, pollution clearing, modular power generator. Okay. More recipes. Looks like more efficient production recipes here. Circuits we're doing right now. All right, this might do it. Improve the, improve the building utility service. Utility service can now be built upside down. Utility service. What about roads? I mean, they're in the utility menu. There's a chance this might do it for us. Uh, extend the park bonus effect. Enhance price farm production. Module slot. Module slot. This looks like products. Products. Warehouse building. Water we saw. That's more products. Products. And what is this? sky project all right unlocks two by two foundation lightweight foundation covers a two by two area all right so these are some additional foundation types i wonder if they can these would help us build upside down not sure the research we're going after that okay Two trade tokens and a communications office. This is uh, unlock more module levels. Does this one does something with the basic apartment? I think it may maybe it allows uh, operators to live in the basic apartment. I'm not sure. Operator tower. This is more worker stuff. Crusher recipes. Coal furnace for power. Glass furnace. That looks cool. Improve building. Improve the lifter. Boy, I don't see it. I don't see it. I might have to Google this one to figure out just how we can start uh, building roads underneath. Yeah, crushers. We did this. Did this. Allow tree plantation to stack. Hanging trees in a gravity wheel. Can't be this far down the tree. So yeah, boy, I might have to look off offline here to see or, or ask the developer on Discord. But this guy says he's not connected to the roads. Right? He's piped right through <laughs> to the tree. Right? We can actually see it. It is connected to the levitation network on this side. We've got this guy right on the corner that I thought was going to be the thing that kind of connected the two floors. 
I still think that might be what this the purpose of that is. Let's try again to lay down a road. I don't think there's a way to um to flip it. Right? Like uh you guys may have suggestions here. So if this was a live stream, I could listen to those. But I'm just here on my own trying to guess why this will not flip on its own. See, normally when we built upside down like the apartment building, I don't have to click any special buttons to get it to uh, to work. Build on the foundation or structure foundation. Now, I can try and throw a foundation down, but I don't think that's... Uh, yeah, you can't really build foundations... on top of a bunch of stuff, the, the power network and all that. Let's see, can I build a road anywhere down here? And we're just kind of learning. It sure doesn't look like it. And it looks like I'm just missing a research. That's kind of what it feels like. I don't think we need like a bunch of these. I hope not. Uh, upside down transport node let's we got the resource to do it let's try and build it right on the uh right where this guy wants to connect up there's a small chance that'll do it but it sure seems like it would give us a hint that that's where it's wanted Ooh, look how the look how it changes its angle maybe that's telling us something i'm gonna double check this because i don't want to mess it up all right, right there, kind of in front of these windows, right where the windows start is where we want to place this guy. Let's do it and just see. It's going to cost us a fair amount of resource to pull that off. Hey, that was it. That worked. Cool. Now, this one is not serving any purpose. I wonder if we can get our resource back if we kill this guy off. Is that one? I don't think. Well, we'll see. We'll leave it there. Maybe we build something in front of it. We, matter of fact, we probably will. Another apartment building. Cool. So we built our first upside down apartment. Nice. I like it. Uh, let's look at the upgrades so we don't end up neglecting those. We might as well take advantage of this stuff. This one doesn't cost us any workers. Let's do it. Boom. Indoor park. This one does cost us a few workers, but look at us. Look at us. Look at us. We're only down three workers. Uh, this is going to help. I'm going to do it. Indoor park. Boom. And the last one is the canteen. Yeah, we definitely want that. Boom. And then we need to do the consumption too. So let's do the rice, which we have. And let's do the consumer products. That should help. Transport goes, gets set up automatically. Upgrades. We just did all three. Cool. We're in really good shape. Nice. And we just completed some technology. Let's pick something off the tech tree. And then we will wrap this one up. We got the rice farm has stopped production. That's not good. That is not good. Okay, here is science two. Let's do it. Credits inflation. Increase the building credits cost. Hmm. That doesn't sound like a positive, but we will uh we'll do it. We need to research this. It's gonna unlock some other stuff for us, so I don't think we have much of a choice. Let's go take a quick look at the, uh, I'm going to flip, flip real quick. Before we go, we'll take a quick look at the rice and see what it is waiting on. I'm sure we're going to need another one of these rice farms as well. This guy is short. Oh man. None of the lines are running. That's uh, not so great. Saplings. It's saplings. I bet anything, right? Storage. Yeah. Well, we're not getting enough saplings in. Let's take a look at the operation center inventory. We got lots of wood, not enough saplings. We're going to have to... Boy, that kind of stinks. I'm not happy about it. Um, should we put down another wood collector? We've got so much wood. Yeah, we can put down another wood collector. That would get us some saplings. Or we can take down one of these rice. Yeah, let's actually, I'm going to cancel one of these lines. And I'm going to pop in a sampling line. 
Now the challenge is we need dirt. <laughs> I don't know how to mine dirt. Uh, for the time being, just to wrap up this episode, let's uh, let me mine some dirt by hand real quick. And uh, I'll just shove it into the inventory there. And then maybe next episode we look at uh, how we get dirt. Because I don't think our little tree miners do it. Bring in dirt. These guys here. They get saplings and raw wood. We may end up doing throwing another throwing down another one of these as well. Alright, let's go to our inventory. World inventory. Well, 4,300 dirt. That'll last for a while at least. I'll probably forget about it, but. Alright, storage. Click on that. And this will probably fill that up. That's fine. All right, they should be good on dirt for a while. All right, cool. Let's wrap the episode here. Wow, we made some progress. We did our first upside down apartment building and we learned about this uh, upside down transport node. So it appears that has to be placed on that white pillar when you're uh, hooking up your utilities and things. Got to be placed on the white pillar between the two, I don't know, between the two sides, I guess is the best way to describe it. But we figured it out, we got it working, and now we're in pretty good shape. We, uh, we've really done a good job taking care of our worker shortage. I mean, we, 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 are, we are actually in the green here with four extra workers. That's the first time we've seen that in several episodes. Our maintenance, we may have to come back and look at this. I'm not sure why this is short. So I'll have to look and see just what's going on here. Our power and water look great. And our money situation looks pretty good. Now we're up to 5,173 per cycle. Our pollution, let's see how that's doing before we leave. Oh, 6%. Look how low that is. Yeah, we can take out more of these uh, goofy trees at some point. These ones that are sitting on the land. Got some over here too that look kind of goofy. We'll take those out. I don't think we need them anymore. We can leave the ones on the top of the building. Although at some point we're, we're, we're going to want to see if we can build higher. I think we will be able to. Um, but when we place these trees, we weren't able to build anything on top of the, this apartment. So we just, we just leave the trees on there to help with pollution. All right. That is it for this episode. If you like this content, please consider giving it a thumbs up. That helps my tiny channel grow. Let me know what you think of the game in the comments. Um, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. I think it's pretty unique. I know there's some other games, and I have another one coming on the channel where you can build your city out in multiple directions like this. But I really like this one. And again, if on the, on the color scheme, if you're wondering how I got this color scheme, I'll just do a little recap here real quick. In the settings, at the very bottom here, you've got color themes that you can pick. And so I picked the ARR color theme. I like it. It's a little more saturated colors. But in order to have these color themes take effect, you've got to be at least at a quality of good or better. And that may change, but in the build I'm using, you have to have good or better in order to uh, be able to change the color schemes. And then once you do up your, your quality, you're probably going to need to restart the game like or, or launch a new game. I don't think you need to close the whole application down, but I think you just need to reload a game or start a new game. Or reload the one that you already saved and uh, i think that kicks it in but give it a try if you have trouble um just mention it in the comments but cool yeah look at this we are uh we're getting places here we've got several buildings but yeah hopefully you're enjoying the journey i sure enjoy having you along with me here on complex sky but for now yeah this is glider cat signing off saying i will see you in the next episode